Okay, so I just got in my AP Racing uh, Big Break Kit for my Mark 7.5 Golf R. And even though they published their weight specifications, I thought I would go and try two different scales. One designed for a slightly larger weight, one's a food scale that can go up to maybe 20 pounds. Uh, to see if they both kind of corroborate and we can get an accurate reading of the weight of each of the component pieces so we can equate that to our OEM. So the first thing is uh, the caliper. Now this caliper is the 9660, so it's the narrow, which doesn't take the one inch pads. It's a six pot um, aluminum radical asymmetric design caliper, and it's very light. So if I put it on uh, the larger scale, let's try over there. It says it's uh, six pounds and 0.2 uh, ounces. And if I put it on this scale, I gotta be cautious about how I do this. Again, six pounds and 0.3 ounces. So very, very light. Um, I would say that it's accurate. Less even weight than the 9668, which I believe is the weight that they're using for the uh, published specifications. Now I got the recommended Ferrodo uh, Racing DS 2500 pads and they come with spring clips. These are the spring clips per side or point, sorry, 3.7 uh, ounces. And this one says 3.4. So I believe the bigger scale is better at larger weight and the smaller one's better at smaller weight. The racing, the, the pads themselves, the S2500 compound pads, when I put one for one caliper, so two pads, uh, I get um, two pounds and 10 ounces on the dot. This is two pounds and 9.6 ounces. There is a, um, an aluminum bracket, this bracket's adapter for a caliper. Uh, it's one pound and 2.9 ounces. And this is one, point two, one pound and 2.4 ounces. And lastly, this is the two-piece uh, rotor with the aluminum hat and the J-hook pre-burnished in my case. This one's gonna be tricky to put on here, so I might have to do a picture of it, but I'll try on this guy here, doing it vertically, and see if I can get it to like freestand without me touching it. Yeah, there we go, okay. So 18 pounds, 7.6 ounces is what we're getting on this one, let me see if we can do the same thing, but oh, on this side. It's gonna to wanna to roll. But 18.8, so very, very close. There we go. 18.8. So what I'll do is uh, I'll add the numbers together for the measurements. Um, on both of these and then do an average column and then compare the equivalent like for like on the OEM. But I do believe we're going to get the 20 pounds per uh, wheel of unsprung weight savings um, based on what they published, which is refreshing that a manufacturer of this caliber publishes accurate information that, that really significantly re will reduce unsprung weight. Because the wheels that I'm running are seven pounds lighter than um, the OE 19 inch, the overall should be somewhere in the order of 27 pounds per wheel of the front wheels, um, which is like the weight of the wheel itself, the OEM 19 inch wheel itself. So hoping that it really improves the suspension, um, the feel, uh, makes everything kind of work better than having very heavy unsprung weight. Um, and if I were able to afford it, 18 by eight and a half light speed VS10 forged magnesium wheels, I could shave yet another six pounds off. So that would be 34 pounds for each of the front wheels or 68 pounds off the front clip. 
and that's rotating mass, most of it. So just need like 17 million views of this video.